she has called for an overthrow of everything bad in government and an overthrow of capitalism itself. Way back in 2007, she said this. The majority of people who are activists um, have stayed the course in a way, uh, in a variety of ways, uh, devoted uh, to overthrowing everything hateful about this government and corporate structure that we live in, capitalism itself, herself, him, himself, and, um, and, uh, and determined to try to keep open and figure out how to move on. Do you hear this? Everything that we were doing, she said, we're still doing, in a way. Still, they still want to overthrow everything. That was in 2007. America, we got a problem. We got to admit it. Sean Penn, without the slightest hint of irony, said this. Every day, this elected leader is called a, a dictator here. And we just accept it and accept it. And this is mainstream media who should truly, there should well, be a, a bar by which they, one goes to prison for these kinds of uh, lies. He's talking about people like me who says that Chavez is a dictator. He'd like me to go to prison for saying those kinds of lies. Let me play Rosie O'Donnell just for kicks. Here's what she said a couple of days ago. Seize their assets today, take over the country, I don't care. Issue an executive order, say BP, guess what? Call yep. it socialism, call it communism, call it anything you want. It's their words. Call it communism, doesn't matter. They're, they're, they're progressives. They'll change the name if you don't like it until they find something that tests well in a focus group. And they'll call it cat food if that's what'll get you to buy it. They'll get it any way they can, and they're making progress. Van Jones said it yesterday. They've already got the White House. They've captured the House and the Senate. They have the Democratic Party. Now, I don't think these people want communism. I don't. They just want power and money. I, I'm not sure if the regular de Democrats have the Stockholm Syndrome or what. Or maybe it's just arrogance that they think they can control these revolutionaries who mean what they say. Believe me, the politicians are using the revolutionaries, and the revolutionaries are using the politicians. Okay? But there is a way out. There is a way out. Ah, I'm a recovering alcoholic. <laughs> you gotta go to the steps, man. The first step, recognize you got a problem. Recognize the truth. America, we got a problem. Once you say that, you can move on to the second one. We are powerless to fight it without God. One second.